Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Oh, hey, Wonder Woman, you should look older. That's not Wonder Woman. It's her mom, the queen. Oh, hey, you's a Wonder Milf. You just got 110% hotter. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're taking a look at another DC Comics multiverse figure and it's Queen Hippolyta or Hippolyta. Not sure how this is pronounced. I'm not Greek. I don't know. Uh, and she's from the upcoming Wonder Woman movie for 2017. You know, at the time of this recording, I didn't know that this figure had come out. I really didn't know this wave was coming. And I must have missed this at Toy Fair somehow. Too many Transformers. And uh, I found this at my local Greenwood Park Mall here in Indianapolis on the south side of town. And uh, it was at Think Geek. And a huge shout out to manager Rob uh, for helping make this review possible. And uh, yeah, these actually look good. I thought this multiverse line was done by three kind of sketchy uh, runs. But uh, well, these guys are definitely looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. And here we have the Queen Hippolyta in package. And, it, you know, it's pretty much the same kind of box we've been getting for the multiverse. Uh, we get some artwork of the Queen down there with kind of a retro-looking DC logo. It says you can build Ares. It says it's a multiverse figure. The Wonder Woman logo is up here. Uh, side of the package, multiverse, Wonder Woman. And then we get the uh, artwork from the movie and a write-up. So just kind of close up. Multiverse! Wonder Woman! Definitely cool. I'm liking this figure. Um, we don't get a lot of this character, so that's kind of nice. The new movie logo, looking cool. Multiverse, yada yada. Um, side of the package, there's the artwork of the character. Here's a little write-up. If you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And here's the back of the package, and it's the Collect and Connect. Uh, DC's version of the Build-A-Figure. We get to make this really wicked looking Ares. Here are all the other characters you need to build. Uh, Wonder Woman, Steve, Diana before she becomes Wonder Woman, and of course this figure, the Queen. Now I will say she was the short pack in the set. There was only one of her and I think about three of each of the other characters. So if you see her and you're wanting to build this, this is definitely a must get first because I think she's going to be the rare one. Now let's go ahead and get the Queen out of package and see what we think. So here we have Queen Hippolyta, 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 I'm gonna call her Hippolyta, out of package and I like the figure. Um, she looks like the Queen of the Amazons to me. I am digging it. I'm not sure if we've actually gotten a figure of this character before. We may have in the uh, DC collection, uh, or the DC collectibles version, uh, comic book version. Uh, obviously never gotten a uh, film film version. Um, definitely digging it. Again, it's the sculpt work on these figures. Looking really nice. Beautiful paint. Um, I think they knocked it out of the park. Um, and she comes with her Build-A-Park figures, which is funny because she comes with the opposite ones of her daughter. Uh, all right, so we get the hand. Looks pretty cool. Of uh, Ares. Uh, very neat, very nice. And then we get the other leg without his shoes. He forgot his shears. Uh, so very cool. Cannot wait to build that figure. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, overall, definitely impressed with this figure. Um, taking a look at the articulation, she uh, can look left and right pretty well. Um, the hair sculpt does not interfere. And oh, look at that hair sculpt. Looks so awesome. Um, very, very cool. Head moves very slightly up and down. Um, she's got uh, all that detail in the in the figure. Very nice. Uh, she does have a very stiff um, side um, movement, which is hampered a little bit by the costume. Not too bad. Um, her legs kick up about that far. Um, there is a um, turn right there. Um, there's a single jointed knee. Um, very cool. And then she has a single jointed ankle no ankle pivot which is unfortunate her arms do move up that high um and it's nice that it's not hampered 
uh, right there. It's kind of flat at the top of her shoulder bits, so that doesn't hamper anything. She can move her shoulders around like that. Very cool. She has an upper arm swivel, a single jointed uh, elbow, um, and then uh, she has a twist at the wrist and no uh, hinge which is a bit unfortunate, but I do have to say the range of movement on this figure is very nice. It's a lot better than the uh, cloaked Wonder Woman uh, because the cloak does eat up a lot of that articulation, but this one actually has a pretty good range considering all the garments that she has on her, uh, which is very, very cool. Again, I'm just, I'm really impressed with this line so far. For comparison, here we have Queen Hippolyta with her daughter. It's Wonder Woman in her cloak, and um, they look pretty cool together side by side. I'm definitely digging it. Uh, they resemble the actresses. Uh, the paint apps on this one are a lot better, I think, than the Wonder Woman figure. It's just the hair. There's just something about that hair sculpt in the paint on the Queen figure that just looks really, really nice, and I'm very appreciative of it. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I really like the sculpt on this figure. Um, I think it looks better than it does on the box. I like the costume. It looks like a more queened up version of Wonder Woman. The coat with the fur on there, I like the paint. Could use some paint wash, I think. The hair sculpt is amazing on this. This actually looks like it got some dry treatment to it. We got the little ponytail braid in the back all the different curls, the light brown, uh, the kind of washed brown that goes with it, very nice. I like how she's got the golden uh, forearm plates. She's got the gray wrap. Um, her little crown up there looks really, really good. Everything looks very queen-like. Um, I think they did a good job, and the detail in the spear looks pretty good. It just needs a little bit more paint apps. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, the sword looks pretty cool. Um, it's still not the same sword that we got in the first Wonder Woman uh, film. Uh, it's different, and I love the costume on this one. I love the kind of uh, brownish red, the golds, the silvers, all that looks really nice. Um, the staff is pretty much, you know, just a wooden piece of brown plastic, but all the wrinkles in uh, the cloak here look really, really good. It creates its own shadowing. I am digging that. I like the color. Uh, for the most part, it's looking pretty much like the character that we're getting from the trailers. And, you know, I'm not upset with it. I think it looks really, really nice. And finally, taking a look at the bottom of the figure. Again, I like the cloak. I think that comes around really, really nice. And it's kind of a weird lighting effect with the light reflecting up on the cloak. It's not actually two-toned. Um, but the boots, again, look really, really good. Um, very much like Wonder Woman's, but also different. It's the same, but different. It's got more gold in it, uh, more regal looking. I definitely dig that. So is Queen Hippolyta, or Hippolyta, a figure that you want in your DC collection? I'm going to say yes, because she's the queen of the Amazons. She's kind of that, almost an Odin-like figure for DC Comics. I mean, it's the mother of Wonder Woman, the queen of Themyscira, queen of the Amazons. And I don't know if we've gotten a figure of her before. Um, if we do, leave a comment down below if you know, but um, if we have, we haven't gotten many. And this is a really well done figure. I love the sculpt on the hair. I like the face sculpt. Um, the, it actually, I think, looks better in toy form than it did on the back of the box. I love the Wonder Woman type costume, the kind of queened up version of it. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Her weapons are pretty decent. They could have used a little bit more paint apps. But uh, overall, I think this is a really nice looking figure and we get, a, you know, an Aries out of this set. So definitely very cool. She is the short pack of the line. So if you are collecting to build Aries, you're definitely going to want to pick her up if you see her because there's only going to be one in the box. So there she is, the queen of the Amazons, Hippolyta from the upcoming Wonder Woman movie of 2017. Hey guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.